I have an emergency. I have three dead people up on top. In 2013, MTV was looking to find their next cast of wild and lovable individuals to cause some trouble and fun in their show Buck Wild. Shane Gandy, one of the cast members, was a fan favorite, and the show had already been a massive success and greenlit for a second season when tragedy struck. That same year, Shane shockingly lost his life in a freak accident, which changed the course of the show forever and stopped everything in its tracks. Shane was only 21 years old when the first season of Buck Wild came out. It was a show that followed nine young adults living their lives in a more rural area. The cast members would do anything from driving all-terrain vehicles to swimming in lakes, riding in the backs of trucks, drinking, and overall doing whatever they wanted. But sadly, it was one of those very same activities that ultimately ended Shane's life. Eyewitnesses' accounts from their friends stated that Shane and his uncle David Gandy were last seen leaving Larry's bar around 3 in the morning on March 31st, 2013. And by the sounds of it, it was clear that they were heavily under the influence of adult beverages that night. Their friends then told authorities that Shane told them that he and his uncle were going to go muddy, and that was the last anyone heard from them. Although their story did ultimately end in tragedy, it was lucky that Shane had so many friends who would constantly check up on him. So when he and David hadn't returned from their nighttime adventure the next day, they were immediately reported missing. It's possible that his friends and family already feared the worst since it was obvious that Shane had died into a vehicle under the influence. And on top of that, it seemed as though DUIs weren't all that uncommon for this particular group of friends. Since one of the other cast members was arrested for aggravated DUI just a month before Shane's terrible accident. So it makes sense why everyone would be immediately on high alert. Soon after the search effort began, Shane and the others in the car were discovered by a person riding in an all-terrain vehicle. This person noticed that they were unresponsive, so they called 911. All in all, it just took 31 hours from the time Shane and David were reported missing to when their bodies were found. But unfortunately, there was nothing that could have been done since everyone in the car had already passed away. And interestingly enough, there was even a third person in the truck. Alongside Shane and his uncle David, there was also a third passenger who had joined them. This was a 27-year-old man named Donald Meyer. When authorities processed the scene, the sheriff's office released a statement saying that they had originally received word of a disabled vehicle in the woods. And when they arrived, the whole scene was confusing, since it seems strange that all three people just passed away suddenly without being in any kind of accident or getting attacked. However, once they investigated it a little further, they realized that all of them had been subjects of an accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. The back of the truck seemed to have been completely submerged in the mud, and although it was upright, the truck was pretty uneven. Mud also covered the passenger side door and blocked it from opening and the exhaust tailpipe was also completely covered. So since the tailpipe was blocked, there was nowhere for the exhaust to go except inside the cabin of the truck, which is how the three of them were ultimately poisoned. What's strange is that the driver's side door wasn't covered in mud at all and was free to be open at any point. But if you remember, the way that night unfolded, there's a chance that adult beverages and being under the influence played a big part in this sad incident. With that being said, the whole thing was labeled as an accident according to preliminary findings from Shane and other passengers' autopsy reports. The county commissioner even said that the whole thing was just extremely sad and tragic since they all lived in such a small community and truly knew each other. Upon hearing the news, MTV also came forward with their own statement on the matter. They said that they were completely shocked and saddened to hear the news of what happened to their cast member and the others involved in the accident. They said that they were still waiting for more information, but at the time, their main concern was for his family and friends. They also took a moment to uplift Shane, saying that he had a magnetic personality with a passion for life and that he touched everyone he met. And they finished the whole thing off by saying that they would miss him dearly. Of course, this also spelled the end of their show Buck Wild, and it seemed like this group of cast members were just a little too wild to actually be reliable. As I mentioned earlier, a month before Shane's passing, one of the other cast members was dealing with an arrest of his own. And at the same time, another cast member was also arrested for being in possession of illegal substances. So with Shane's passing, it seemed to be in everyone's best interest to cancel the show immediately and move on to something else. But at least we still have the first season to look back on and see Shane making fun and amazing memories with his family and friends before he was gone. Since the show was originally supposed to copy MTV's precious success with Jersey Shore, Jenny J. Well Farley also tweeted when she learned about Shane's tragic passing. She said that the whole thing was just incredibly heartbreaking, especially since he was just a 
baby. And that's truly one of the worst parts of the whole story, that he really was very young and still had his whole life ahead of him. But what do you guys think about all of this? Did you know what happened to Shane? I'm super interested to hear what you have to say about this one. So let me know what you think in the comments below.